we're going there. Thank you. I can't believe it. That's a good price too. are prepping for the season. It's just a little basic wiping down. Gotta and put the cover back on. Couch cover's going back on because we washed it. Some little things like that that we're getting done here in the camper. some amazing things you can find at thrift stores. I found this little picnic set and it's got plates and silverware and it just sits up in this little pouch. You can just throw it in your bag and everything's not going all over the place. Is that not the coolest thing? And I found it at a thrift store. If this is going to be kite, do you want to put these somewhere? These can probably go under the bed. Have room for this because we don't use those all the time. It's amazing what you accumulate, dang. Yeah, over time. But the kids aren't with us anymore, so. I mean, you've got this whole closet now. It wasn't that bad. It's hot in here. <laughs> it is hot in here. But we got everything organized now. We, my sister still has our portable AC. Yeah, which so we usually use here when, when we are parked. But I'm telling you, getting ready for a new season, it's good to do an evaluation of everything that you don't need and clean out everything that you don't need before you put start. Put me in what you do need. <laughs> Put me in what you do need, yeah. You'd be amazed at the space we cleared, even in this tiny little camper. Well, the kids aren't with us anymore, so all of their stuff is out. And so that cleared up a lot of space. So by eliminating the stuff that sh the kids were using, uh, that freed up a lot more space for us uh, now, though we're probably not going to fill it just because we have it. No, I, I mean, you don't do that, but you just have to reimagine and go, okay, what's working and not working, and how do we fix that? Did we ever use this? Yeah. Did, did we not use this? If we did not use this, why did we not use this? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, we had four grills in here, <laughs> for goodness sake. I mean, good night. <laughs> why in the world have we got four grills in here? Uh, they were just different kinds. Charcoal grill, mm -hmm. electric grill. We had a gas grill. We had the gas grill, which is one we use all the time now. So why do we need the other ones? So, well, we still kept our little charcoal grill for beach grilling. If we, yeah, but it doesn't take up much space. No, it, it's in a little bag even. Yeah. Which was cool. Yeah. Well, now that we've got everything cleaned out, now we're going to start putting stuff in, like the foldable bikes and stuff like that. Yes, just gives us a way to rethink how we're organizing stuff. We are back at Kerner's Folly. Um, we were here over Christmas, what, two years ago? Has it been that long? I think it's been that long. But they have a spring event called the Vintage Market. 
and we thought we would check it out. We're kind of in our hometown today, or in our area today. Um, so we're gonna show you guys what they have. Perfect for a finch, huh? <laughs> Matches. Look at that. <laughs> well, no, that's genuine copper. That means it's good for you. They wear. You know, like the pearly ones? We're going there. Yep. Oh, I love this. I would love this one. I thought it was like this. Hey, y'all. I love it. Yeah. Hey, y'all. How much is this one? Baby. Let's. It's the last one I have for the hey, y'all today. I love it. Hey, y'all. Look at this! Yes, I use a lot of random stuff. A lot of hardware and buttons. Isn't that cute? What's this made out of? What's the metal? It's a mixed metal. There's no nickel and there's no lead. So the mix is usually going to be a steel base. Yeah, I see what you see, but are you going to... Are That's you gonna, a good price too. Are you going to survive? That's a good price too. I love the anchor. Ooh. Yeah, but I think you want the anchor. You think the anchor? Uh huh. Thank you. I can't believe that. That's a good price too. I have, I have been bugging him for this. Yes, you have. Don got me a bob. Don got me a bob bag. A bob bag. Yes. It's blue, blue. It's navy and it has an anchor on it. My husband loves me. <laughs> This is Jay Pepper's Bar and Grill in Kernersville. Looks pretty cool. It is very good. Very good fried green tomatoes. Oh, really? Yes. Fried green tomatoes. We had those in West Virginia. Yeah. That's the first time you ever had them, dude. Oh. Because this is cute. I think it's sweet that you do this. I just fidget her. I just fidget all the time. This is so cute though. This is made out of the straw paper. That is too cute. We are at a place called Triad Park. This is in Kernersville, North Carolina, so not real far from where we live. Um, and it's a good kite flying area for him, because as you guys know, that's his thing. Um, and we have this space behind me, if you can see that. And it is a um, military memorial. Uh, they have different things for each branch and each uh, war. Um, so it's really a nice place to come and see. There's even um, a piece of a beam from the World Trade Center here. So this is a very interesting place to come if you're ever in Kernersville. This is right outside Winston-Salem, North Carolina.
as we're uh, settling in on this beautiful spring day, uh, enjoying the sunset, uh, we're going to tell you about what we're doing uh, with the Route 64 tour. Uh, one thing about living here in central North Carolina is that you're just a little bit away from the coast or the mountains. And we're going to be doing it all this summer. Yes! That's one of the big things that's the advantage of the Route 64 tour. You get to do it all. You get to do it all. So we're looking forward to showing all that to you. I tend to lean toward the beach. And I tend to lean more towards the mountains. And so we're going to be getting both of that uh, this summer. I think that it's, I think it's better to be up in the mountains. It's a higher altitude. It's, you know, cooler air up there. You get to go hiking. See the waterfalls. Waterfalls are everywhere up there on Route 64. And that's all great, but I do love the coast where you can spend a relaxing day on the beach, you can go out. Your favorite place is? The Outer Banks. Which yes. is where the Route 64 tour starts. <laughs> and we look forward to sharing all of that we do. We've got so much lined up this summer. We do. Uh, I think that the mountains are still better because, uh, first of all, that's my family. My family heritage is in the mountains. My mom was born in Boone. You know, it's it's just in my blood. You know, I've, I've gone to the mountains all my life and we always went to the mountains. Every few days we were going up there to those mountains. We spent the night at my great grandmother's house. And it's so funny because even though it's not in North Carolina, typically our summer vacation was to Myrtle Beach. Right. Which is really odd because the Outer Banks is so much better. You like the Outer Banks better than Myrtle Beach. Oh my gosh. Any day of the week and twice on Sunday. No contest. No contest. No, no contest. I'm so excited. I can't see. <laughs> yes, this has been his brainchild. He's been so excited about this. Uh, <laughs> this is what inspired the Route 64 tour. Uh, if you recall in Cars 3, they mention Thomasville. That's our hometown. And so, in cars, a lot of the story is about how, like, I-40 changed everything. And, and, you know, Radiator Springs in the movie turned into a ghost town because they got bypassed by the interstate. Well, Route 66 doesn't even come out here to North Carolina. So, the mother road of... North Carolina and all the way even to Arizona that crosses I-40 more than any other highway is Route 64. Now Route 64 though, because of its major attractions there, has maintained its popularity and so many of the towns have been able to survive uh, even though the Interstate 40 does not go through it, through them anymore. Right. So this was his brainchild to kind of go all the way through it so that we can share it with our viewers. And it's going to be an amazing tour. It is going to be amazing. I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. Uh, we've been doing a few things today. We went to Kernersville, which is not part of the Route 64 tour. And we went to eat at a place called... J. Peppers. J. Peppers. Yes. And what is it about J. Peppers that you like so much? The fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes. And I got shrimp and grits. So I got my southern girl on today. Yes, you did. So you'll be hearing all about it because I'm a foodie. Yeah, and that's another thing that too that we're going to be doing as we go through each town. We're going to be telling you the highlights of places to eat, uh, things to do, attractions to see, what is there, what's available, campgrounds to stay at, and and, and the highlights of each and every town. Like like Wilson, for instance, yes, they've got the barbecue, but they've also got the Whirly Gig Park, uh, which is a really amazing attraction. That is there, the Ball mm -hmm. Simpson Whirly Gig Park that many people don't even know about. And we really enjoy visiting that. It's just this little kitschy thing that you might miss if you don't take your time. And there's so many hidden stories that are in the normal everyday things. Like here in Thomasville, I did some research on the history of this place, and there is a beautiful love story built into the history of Thomasville. 
one more thing that I want to tell you. We are going to have Route 64 merchandise available to help with the expenses on this particular series. We are going to uh, be offering merchandise uh, through Patreon. Uh, if you follow the link that we give you, we would like to uh, show, show you the merchandise. We've got bags, we've got t-shirts that are going to be available through Patreon that you can order that say the Route 64 Tour. And if when you give your donation, that does help with the expenses of the trip. So look forward to that and uh, we'll see you next time. So hit that like and subscribe button and until next time, happy camping. Happy camping. Ramsour, uh, Ashboro. Let me tell you what inspired this. Okay. <coughs> After she stops that. Uh, Summer's going to be amazing. We're coming out of this COVID stuff. So we're looking forward to sharing this all with you. Okay. And I'm going to be editing a lot of this out. So <laughs> The Route 64 tour is a really great way to see North Carolina, all the way from the coast to the mountains. This is part of a, a rescue farm, Park Haven Rescue, and most of the animals you see that are here and, and a number more back up on the farm are rescue animals. And if any profits are made here, then that goes to support the rescue.